Good afternoon and welcome to our Euro 2021 coverage. Um, it's 2020. Sorry? It's 2020. No, it's definitely 2021. Yes, but UEFA didn't want to change it, so it's still called Euro 2020. Oh, for goodness sake. Is everybody happy now? Well, I thought you wanted to get it right. Well, yes, of course. So, having cleared that up, it's over to our roving reporter, Richard Hamilton, on how the group games have been going. How's it going over there, Matt? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's been a, it's been some, a shocking result. You wait till you see, see what kind of results have been coming in. Excellent. Look forward to it. <laughs> so, let's take a look at what the group games have brought us. Group A was topped by Wales, despite them getting thumped 4-0 in the last game against Italy, who finished second. Group B saw wild outsiders Finland finish top, scoring five against Denmark and Belgium, and three against Russia, with Denmark finishing second. Belgium capitulated dramatically, conceding five to both Denmark and Finland after beating the Russians in the first game. So as they say in spam a lot, Finland, 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 that's the country for me. Group C saw so Austria come out on top, with North Macedonia in second place. But the Netherlands once again failed in a tournament that they were expecting to do well in. So the hills are alive with the sound of music then. Group D saw two home nations battling it out, and we should recap the game from Wembley before going any further. We sent Matthew Swan to Sample Club Wembley for us on the day. Well, I'm um, sorry, a disappointing one hole draw here at Wembley between England and Scotland. And that's with England failing to deliver after the hype and the fantastic 4-2 victory over Croatia in the opening round. Scotland, they'll end up the happier with this bore draw. And it's now down to the last game where both teams need the vital three points. And Scotland dispatched Croatia 4-0 in their final game to win the group from England, who slipped up 1-2 against the Czech Republic. More Wembley woes for Gareth Southgate then, with the Scots now looking down on us from the top of the group. In Group E, unfancied Slovakia took the top slot after thrashing Spain 3-0 in the final deciding game, with Spain going through as runners-up. And in Group F, the group of death, France came out on top by virtue of two draws and no defeats from Portugal, with Germany third on goal difference. Really? So that brought us to the round of 16 where we needed calculators and online checkers to verify the correct teams had gone through. France were drawn against the Netherlands, and we've sent Wendy Martin over to Bucharest to cover the game. I'm so disappointed, as I find England played in Copenhagen, which I hear is wonderful. But I'm here in Bucharest, where France overpowered the Netherlands two goals to nil. No mistakes yet from Hugo Lloris. Bad luck, Wendy. So it's over to wonderful, wonderful Copenhagen, that friendly old girl of a town, to hear from Phil Davis, who witnessed the England-Spain game. On this merry night, let us clink and drink one down in celebration of a famous England victory over Spain by three goals to two, which will see us match up with France in the next round. Meanwhile, Finland put out the Germans 1-0. And Wales came out on top in a high-scoring game with North Macedonia 4-3. Bless my homeland forever. Austria overcame Poland 3-2 to reach the quarter-final tie against Denmark, who beat Italy 6-3 in extra time after being 2 all at full time. So with Slovakia losing 2-0 to Turkey, that only leaves the Scotland game. And we pat Raybug off to Wembley to see this one. Let's turn Wembley into Bonnie Scotland tonight overcoming Portugal 3-1 in an entertaining tie, which saw Christian Aldo finish his final Euros on the losing side. That's a shame, isn't it? Thanks, Ray. Always sad to see a brilliant player's last Euro action, but he has been a thawed in our side previously. And so to the quarterfinals. Wendy Martin moved on to St Petersburg for the England-France game which was won by England by three goals to two. A fabulous result, which sends us to another semi-final. Could this be the tournament? Great news. We sent Phil Davis to Munich to see who we might get there. 
Bad news for the home nations, I'm afraid, Nick. Wales went down to the fish slapping fins. Three goals to one with the Welsh Mafia unable to control the proceedings. Have we seen Bale's last game? I sincerely hope not. Thanks, Phil. On the other side of the draw, Ray Bug went to Baku to see Austria play Denmark. And it's the Danes who enjoyed the night most with a comfortable 4 0 victory that showed for Austria that when you don't know the notes to sing, you can't do anything. And with Matthew Swan being sent for an evening out in rain, he concludes the quarterfinals. What a night here in the Stadio Olimpico, where Scotland once again were victorious after a penalty shootout over Turkey in a game that finished 4 4 before winning 3-2 in the penalties. And so we get back to Wembley for the first semi-final between England and Finland. Richard Hamilton went down to see this game. England, England, what a win. It was comfortable, it was 3-0 against Finland. We mustn't get excited here, of course, but it looks like we could be onto something. And it's going to be Scotland. They face off, they came out on top of a high-scoring game, four goals to three over the Danes. So there we have it, a home nation's final, and it's the big one, England against Scotland. So let's get down to Wembley to pick up on the action. Which so one are you? Is, I'll do England. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is England v Scotland, the final. Okay, England. One. Oh. Four. Four. <laughs> Scotland have won the US 4-1, beating England in the final. <laughs> We're on the road with Clarky's army, but this time not the Argentine. And we really shake them up when we win the Euro Cup, because Scotland are the greatest football team. And there we have it. Scotland are Euro champions by the ridiculous scoreline of four goals to one. You heard it here first. You're going to be late for work. Oh, well, I, I really don't mind this morning, as long as it was all a dream. 